in 1904, Franz Snoops carried out an experiment to assay fatty acid metabolism. He was actually the first scientist to assay the metabolism of fatty acid. What he did was that he fed his dogs with either odd or even numbered fatty acid labeled with omega 9 days. He observed that the dogs he, he, he fed with the odd numbered fatty acid produced urine that contained hyperic acid. While the dogs he fed with the even numbered fatty acid produced urines that contained phenyl acetyl acid. Okay, when I said he labeled the fatty acid with omega phenyl groups, he actually labeled trait chain fatty acids. And you remember the structure of fatty acids. Let's say A typical fatty acid and of course it is odd number let's assume n is one one two three four five and i said he labeled them with omega phenyl groups that is he attached a phenyl group to the omega carbon but this is what we have Remember, in the fatty acid, this is the alpha carbon. Let's assume this to be one, like I said, so we can take this off, right? If N is one, we can take this off. And this becomes the beta carbon, right? Then this is the omega carbon. Franz observed that in the metabolism of fatty acid, the beta carbon is oxidized to a carboxylic group. And if this is oxidized, this is the beta, uh, beta carbon, if this is oxidized, this entirely is cleaved off. So let's assume the beta carbon becomes oxidized to carboxylic group. Of course, this is no longer a beta carbon and this is no longer an omega carbon. This becomes the beta carbon, sorry, this becomes the alpha carbon, and this is the beta carbon. Now, for so what Franz noticed again, oxidation took place at the beta carbon. The beta carbon is oxidized to the carboxylic group, and this is also cleaved off. And what we have, this is benzoic acid. And in the urine of the dogs, he said with odd numbered fatty acid, he found hyperic acid. Hyperic acid is the benzene amide of glycine. That is, it has a glycine attached to it. Remember the structure of glycine of the amino acid glycine right so this is this is hyperic acid then for the even numbered fatty acid the same thing occurred you notice the same thing numbered fatty acid. France also observed that oxidation took place on the beta carbon. Now, on this fatty acid, here is the beta carbon. Of course, this is the beta carbon, this is the alpha carbon, and this is the omega carbon. If oxidation occurs on the beta carbon, like I, okay, like I said, 
the uh, beta carbon becomes oxidized to the carboxylic group, and this is cleaved off. This is cleaved, sorry. This is oxidized to the carboxylic group. Now, if this happens, remember I said if this is N is assumed to be one. If this happens, this automatically becomes the alpha carbon. This is beta carbon. If another oxidation takes place, it will take place. It took place as you observed. It took place on the beta carbon. Again, the beta carbon is oxidized to the, the carboxylic group. Okay. Now this is what we have. Then, um, looking at this structure, we have an alpha carbon, but we don't have a beta carbon. Now, first observe that because of the absence of a beta carbon, there was no further oxidation. And now, this is this is phenyl acetate. And in the urine of the dogs, he fed with the even numbered fatty acid. He observed phenyl acetic acid. This is phenyl acetyric acid. From this experiment, from this experiment, Franz Nuk deduced that the degradation of fatty acid occurred by the successful or successive removal of two carbon fragments, and this involves the oxidation of the beta carbon to the carboxylic group.